In this video, I'm going to share with you some of the tricks to create cool looking gradients and how you can use them in your user interface design. Now on the right, you can see over here, I'm not going to create anything over here. This will be another tutorial where I will show you how to create this in Figma. But right now we are more interested in this. There are a lot of different techniques. As you can see, I have written over here, dark and light. Now the first technique I use is, let me open up everything. So first technique I use is that I am going to go uh, into this uh, linear gradient and you can see over here, first thing is angle. So it is in this direction, angle really matters. This gradient, if you apply on this circle, circular graph, it might not work because the angle is different. So first trick is that you have to select one color that is going to be the same hue 205 and it will be a lighter version and then we have another one which will be a bit darker. Now what I try to do is I try to change a little bit of hue like you can see over here from 205 I jumped to 216. This is another trick. I have uh, taught you in my color schemes color scheme course now um, you can see you can change the angle over here if you want to just drag like this and when, wherever you think is comfortable you can drop it like this okay so I will keep the light over here in this direction and dark over here so first trick is dark and light so we have very dark shade on one side and very light color on the other side and they are almost the same hue they are the same color okay now if you go to this one so this one is actually called analogous colors analogous color means that we are going to use colors that are very close to each other on the color wheel now let me show you the color wheel so here we have the color wheel. If we go to analogous, you can see these are the colors in analogous. So whenever you move one of them, they are going to move together. So we have greens, cyans, blues, uh, then we have greens and blues, then we have oranges and greens, then we have this uh, yellowish amber with orange, uh, then we have this pink and purples, red and pink, pink and purple, so these are all analogous colors. They are very close to each other on the colors, color wheel. So this is the second trick. So what I did is I used this blue color and the green color. You can see uh, this uh, analogous color scheme. We have blues and we have greens. So on one side, I used this blue color. Second, on the other side, I used green color. So this is called the second trick for creating uh, analogous colors so this is the second trick so here we have another gradient and it is made by using analogous colors okay so next one is using complementary colors so blue is opposite to this yellowish or uh, purplish color so I used complementary colors on color wheel let me show you what are actually complementary colors let me see if I have the color wheel so here we have the complementary. So if I try to select one color over here, uh, let's select this one. And if I go to complementary, it is going to go into orange. So if I try to select uh, this color, move this color over here, you can see it is moving inside this yellow or orange section over here. So they are totally opposite to each other on the color wheel. So this is another trick. So if you are creating a uh, um, a, a, a gradient you can use complementary colors too okay so the next one is I am using three colors so these are again complementary colors but actually I am inspired by a scene for example sunset with a lot of dark clouds you can pick up those colors from an image too so this is a very simple trick a lot of designers that they, they don't know this that is why I saved it by the name of sunset cloud colors. So if I go over here, you can see it has three colors over here. This is the orange or sun uh, behind the clouds. This is the dark cloud over here. And this is the uh, 
um, other cloud color which is a bit lighter blue or you can see say that it is the lightning inside inside the clouds this is up to you so this is actually the gradient over here one two three you can move the stops wherever you want it to be and uh, you can move this over here if you want to move this over here whatever color you want more so I like it this way so this is another trick so you can create gradients based on color schemes from different images from different scenes uh, nature scenes they are great for creating these kind of colors uh, colors and gradients now the last trick is that we are going to use the same color or monochromatic color let me show you so we have uh, this orange over here which is 18 over here and then this is 43 hue but it is actually um, if we move over here you can see I try to move the color on this in this area over here which is bit grayish white so what I did is let me show you let's move it over here let's keep it 18 so I am using the same color on both stops these are called basically stops 100% uh, stop 0% stop so from here 0 to 100% so I can move it like this and or if I want to move this one I can use that so this is another trick you can use single color with two stops one will be a bit on the gray side uh, maybe like this grayish white and other is over here similarly you can use it like this and the other one is going to be in this darker section over here so this is going to be gray plus color or white uh, plus color or this is actually monochromatic color scheme a single color you are going to use a single color here we actually use the single color but we shifted the hue a little bit let me show you if you don't remember this is 205 but the darker one had 216 but here we are using the same hue for the both both stops this lighter one has 18 and the saturation brightness is different let me move it over here like this let's move it over here like this so you can see this is going to end this lesson if i i want to show you how you can use them in user interface these are two two examples uh, you can see this is light to dark with some variation like this one and then we have this one which has uh, this sunset or uh, nature inspired color scheme where we have two opposite colors actually three colors are being used over here purple blue and orange so this is how you actually apply your uh, gradients in color scheme and um, in your uis in your websites some of the gradients they are going to work great on backgrounds some of them are going to work on buttons well because like this one this is a very dark and bright very dark and light so this is not going to work on whole background because we have to put some text and other things over the background so keep in mind that whenever you use something like this you have to use a lighter background uh, gradients for example like this one this can you be used as a background this can be used as a background but these darkers and very light have a lot of contrast where you have a lot of contrast in the gradient um, stops you cannot use them as background so uh, let's move on move to the over here and let me share with you some of the gradient gradients online uh, you can see here is a gradient maker from coolers.co you can choose colors whatever color you want to use and it will sh you can also copy the css code from here uh, similarly there we have another one gradient.com this is another website these it has a lot of gradients similarly we have cssgradients.io we have a lot of different uh, websites over here ui gradients gradient gradient hunt mesh gradients and web gradients so it is taking some time to load anyhow so here are a few more 
generators, colors, CSS color generators, gradient generators, where you can pick up the color and you can generate the gradient. So this is the gradient. You can see this is looking really nice on a background. And if I try to change the color over here to this one, this is looking really great. It is dull, but it is looking really great. So this is how you create a different kind of gradients. And these are different techniques you can use. I hope you have enjoyed this lesson. Uh, and uh, if you have any questions, you can always ask me. Make sure you watch other videos from my channel. Don't forget to subscribe and uh, like this video and share this video with others. Till then, see you soon in another video. Take care and bye. I hope that you have enjoyed this video. Let's move on to the next lesson.